Let's now talk about group stage. This stage is very important and it is used almost in each aggregation request. Let's look at the syntax. Dollar sign group, then colon and object. This object contains key value pairs, where keys are field names and values are expressions. Underscore ID is a mandatory field. Others are optional. In this example, you see field 1 that has a value accumulator and expression. We will talk about accumulators later on. And now we'll focus just on the one field underscore ID. So how it works? Before group stage, we have set of documents. Those documents have certain fields. And if you want to group those documents by certain field name, you should use this field name in the expression on the right side of the underscore id key value pair. And as a result, you will get documents with one field underscore id. And values will depend on the values of the input field that you used in expression. It may sound difficult, but let's look at an example. First example, group, then object with key value pair, underscore id, then colon, and dollar sign h as a string. In this example, we refer to the h field of the input documents. Then we find all distinct values of h field and then produce new set of documents. And each of those new documents will have just one field name, underscore id. And values will be distinct values of the h field of the input documents. For example, 20, 21, 23 and so on. Next example. Group, then underscore id, then colon, and instead of just one expression, we pass here an object with two key value pairs age, dollar sign age, and gender, dollar sign gender. It means that we will group by pairs age and gender. So we will find all unique pairs in input documents age and gender and will output them in separate documents. And again, each output document will have just one field underscore id. And in this second example, this field will have a nested document as a value. And this nested document will have two own fields, age and gender. Okay, let's summarize. Group performs grouping of input documents by certain field or fields. Underscore id is mandatory and it must be present in each group stage. Group stage may have also other fields except underscore id. And those new fields may be calculated dynamically using special accumulators. We will talk about them later on. And next, let's look at the group example and let's play with the group in the shell. See you shortly.